What if there was a place in the universe, a new world, a utopia, where humans didn't act like animals and everyone had genuine love for each other, and on this planet there was no crime, violence or evil? Would you want to go there? What if no one ever got sick or died, and the strength and beauty of youth was an eternal gift to everyone on the planet? And in this paradise, you would wake up each day to a world without worry or fear for the future. Sound appealing? Question. Okay, so what if you were in charge of approving passports of people wanting to live in Utopia? Would you set up any criteria to determine who could colonise this new world? Or would everyone be welcome? The good, the bad and the not so ugly? Would you say, listen everyone, there are no rules or laws on this planet. Everyone is free to do whatever they feel like. Is that what you would say? If people boarded an intergalactic spaceship and travelled to this new planet today, would it be any different than our world right now? So you see the problem, don't you? Everything would be just the same. It wouldn't be utopia. Why? Human nature. We are all selfish from the day we were born. The last 6,000 year history of the world proves it. Now, what if you were one of the applicants seeking an asylum in this new paradise, this perfect world? Would you be cleared for the passenger list to Utopia? Remember, you are not a perfect being. Would the hurtful things you've done in this life disqualify you from the passenger manifest? You probably wish the Earth was really like Utopia. No corporate greed, lying politicians and warmongering power brokers. But that is not the world we live in, is it? Believe it or not, there is such a paradise. A utopia where humans can travel to and live. It's a real place. Forget fiction and fantasy. It exists. Problem is, humans are not qualified to journey to this perfect paradise. Why? The virus of self-centeredness has contaminated every human heart ever born on planet Earth. You know it's true. Life has taught you that. The secret to getting off this planet with a passport to Utopia is bound up in an ancient mystery. It's called the mystery of godliness. You see, God is perfect and he proposes to remove our selfish heart and replace it with a heart of selfless love, ready for Utopia. God has the antidote for the virus of selfishness that has ravaged the planet. It's a blend of divine justice and love infused with transforming supernatural power. Power to radically change your heart. Now, you're probably not going to be asking the question, what must I do to be saved? I mean, you probably didn't know you were lost in the first place. But you are, unless you have taken the antidote against your selfish nature. God is preparing the greatest airlift operation in the history of the universe because this world is headed for self-annihilation. You know that, don't you? It's only a matter of time and kaboom, nuclear war, extinction. We have the weapons to destroy ourselves many times over. You may believe that once you die, it's all over. But doesn't that sound like a terrible end to your life? If you were to gamble on one of two options, staying in the ground or life after death, which would you choose? Let's just suppose you did want to go to paradise where you will never die, where the friendships you formed on Earth would continue through eternity. Is it worth investigating? If you choose to go with the atheist view and there is life after death, you will have lost everything. If you choose God's plan and it turns out to be true, you have gained everything. Eternal life. So, what if you ask the question, what must I do to be saved from eternal death? Are you ready for the answer? It's profoundly simple. Just one word. Believe. What? Just believe? That can't be true. The ancient manuscript says, Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. No ambiguity here. Believe and you shall be saved from this doomed planet. You can go to paradise. Your passport is waiting for you. He paid the penalty for your selfish acts. And with your permission, he will destroy the virus of selfishness in your heart. He wants you to live in utopia. 
To believe in Jesus as your rescuer means you must turn away from everything that would disqualify you from utopia. If you yield your life to his divine healing power, he will make sure you make it to paradise. However, the law of God permits no evil, selfish or proud person to enter utopia for obvious reasons. How then can you get your passport to this new world? Simple. Jesus lived a perfect life. He offers his life of obedience for your life of selfishness. How great is that? Once you accept this gift of life, God exposes the virus of sin coursing through your veins to the ultra-quiet rays of his perfection and love. The infectious deadly disease is destroyed and we are then cleared to make the journey to paradise. Here's the most amazing part. It's free. You can't pay for the ticket to Utopia. The price for your rescue has already been paid for by Jesus. Now, the door to paradise is only inches away. That's right, all you need to do is kneel down right now and ask God to forgive you for past wrongs you have done and receive a new life that only he can give. Are you ready for Utopia? The other option isn't a pretty one. Why not risk checking it out? It can make an eternal difference for you personally. Something to think about. To order the free booklet, call 1-888-402-6070 or you can download a free copy of the book by going to AmazingFactsMinistries.com.